of energy, it's the foundation of the food web. Okay, so he just said it's the primary source of energy for the whole food web. I need two fantastic volunteers who can relate that to the first law of thermodynamics and the second law of thermodynamics. This is AP Environmental Science. Well, we're studying the movement of energy and matter through systems. For the energy, there's like this thing called the rule of 10. It's like the producers have 100% and like each time that energy gets transferred, it loses 10%, so that's an example of thermodynamic law two. What we learned today was how we could find examples in our campus about thermodynamics, both laws, the first law and the second law. It really boils down to the plant really only can offer about 10% of the energy that it has produced. If I'm gonna be asking students in the context of a classroom if they can identify biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem, it's so much easier to get that work done if we're right here sitting on the bridge. I really like going outside because we are in AP Environmental Science, so it's like we are studying our environment, we're learning how our um, campus is sustainable, we're learning how we are impacting our little environment that we are as a, as a community. Here. So I don't know if you remember this, but last time we were together, I said that any time you lose five pounds, your five pounds actually gets converted into atmosphere. I really wanted the students to be able to connect what they just finished in the textbook and on paper and pencil with a real world example being surrounded by this environment that we're in here on campus.